Kaksenti Siachen, this basket we're all in together. We must live together in peace and harmony. So therefore we have Snotwai Tlastak, teachings of the water. And this also brings me to the word Aslathakuheus, how we're all connected, not only to our lands, the waters, the animals, but to each other and our ancestors. We make the sacred circle strong by living by these teachings of water. And these teachings make us better human beings. They bring us to conduct ourselves in a proper way, and we treat each other with much better attitudes and much better harmony, if you will. We must all be one, connected to each other, to make this kakseit this basket we're all in together, a much more beautiful place. In Jawa and Squash, Lichletko. Lichletko is the name that I carry for my grandmother, and it translates as rain falling on water. Now, the suffix of that word, ko, it translates in the Inklikatma language as water, and you'll find that that word is affixed to the names of many Indigenous women in our culture. And the way that that word is linked to women, it, it often signifies that profound connection between um, the responsibility that a mother has in carrying a child within what's considered the sacred water, the amniotic sac, and ensuring that there's a protective environment for her child in which to enter the world.
I would like to talk today a little bit about uh, the cedar brushing ceremony. Um, this is a ceremony that we practice quite often um, as Coast Salish people, where we go down to the river, um, the raging river, which is Mother Earth's veins or life source, um, and and where we're covered by our cedar boughs, our beautiful cedar trees. And the two of them together are very powerful. And so we use the river water um, and we use the cedar boughs for cleansing, to cleanse any negative, any hurt, any sadness, um, anything you may be feeling. Um, but when we are in that ceremony, we are connecting with the land. We are connecting with our ancestors. We are connecting with our spirit guides and they are with us. They are in that moment. And so in that moment, we also have um, a, a prayer song that's being sung while we are doing the cleansing. Traditionally, it's three women, four women that do the cleansing, but women have to do the cleansing. Um, and the male sings the song. So in the ceremony, we had a drummer and the females doing the cleansing and all that energy that we are pulling from you, we're taking away in the cedar boughs. And then in the end, the cedar boughs are sent down the river and given back to Mother Earth. When we are born into this world, it is from water that we come. And from that moment on, water is a necessity for everyone. When my head and heart are heavy and in need of a retreat, my soul leads me to the water's edge where I find our mother's heartbeat. The push and pull of the waves creates a soothing rhythm in the ocean. This forces me to breathe deeply and connects me to my emotion. When I need to be close to nature and feel my ancestors from afar, take me to the forest where the creeks and the rivers are. Mother Earth's veins raging, so full of life fresh and new, creating spiritual places for renewal and cleansing for you. When the Earth needs purification and she is hurting and in pain, the rain clouds sweep over us and bring the life-giving rain. Chen Kuan Man told me for this sacred transparent gift, honor it and protect it, for without it, life cannot exist.
We are from the Coast Salish people. I'm Squamish Nation. And um, many, many years ago, we lived in our villages on the water. We, we have always been people of the water. And in fact, my late father, Kotlatcha, uh, would go in a canoe with my, his grandmother, who was Mary Capilano. And they would paddle the canoe and he always told me that being in the water gave her, her the strength to sing. And she would sing as she was paddling across the water. And the water and the song just seemed to blend together. The Coast Salish people lived on the water for many, many years. And the women always had their own canoe and they used to paddle up the creeks and collect bulrushes. And also, that would give them the strength to sing song. There is a connectivity between Mother Earth, between the water, between us as Indigenous First Nations people that connects everything. So song is a part of us, as water is a part of us, as the cedar tree is a part of us. It is impossible to separate water from song because that is who we are and it's how we connect.
Ohomer. Village. It can also mean villagers. And when we are born into one village, that is our identity for the rest of our lives. When we introduce ourselves, I say, Tzitzaychema is my name and I come from the village of Aslaan. And this would help our elders know exactly who I am, which family I come from, which village I come from, and the waters that surround me. And it all means it is all a ripple effect because who we are affects not only our elders, but also our children, our future generations, for they need to know who they come from, where they come from, and which village they come from.